Hey, what's up, everybody? I am back on Facebook Live. I couldn't get enough of you guys earlier, so I decided that I was going to do a second video. Um, if you tuned in, I guess it was maybe less than an hour or so ago when I was at the market with my sister, Denise. We met up at the uh, the local farmer's market here in St. Augustine, Florida, um, and we got our fresh fruits and veggies that we do every Saturday. We also go on Wednesdays. There's a different farmer's market here um, in St. Augustine on Wednesdays. So Wednesday and Saturday, and I'm set for the week. You know, I can get everything fresh and just make sure, hey, mama, good morning. I can get everything fresh and make sure that, um, you know, that it stays good and I'm able to either juice it or do it in a smoothie or eat it, you know, however, if I steam it um, or if I eat it raw. And um, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, mama. Um, how are you? And Susanna, how are you, sister? Teresa, thank you so much for tuning in. Debbie, how are you? Once you jump on, guys, do me a favor. Comment below and say hi. Say hello so I can see who all is joining me. Because I see at the top, it says live, and it'll say how many people are on. But it doesn't always tell me who it is. So please do me a favor. Say hello. Good morning, Debbie. How are you? Love you so much, sister. Thank you for tuning in. I mean, I'm really enjoying these Facebook Live videos. I'm like a uh, a celebrity now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's fun, though. It's fun to be able to, like, see everybody and, and uh, converse here. And if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, we can go back and forth like that. Um, oh, my mom likes it. Debbie's watching. Yay! Debbie's like my second mama. So, um, yeah, I love you so much, Debs, for real. So much love for you, sister. Hi, beautiful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Susanna, you're amazing, sister. Um, so most of you, like I said, maybe you didn't, but I did a video this morning. I was at the market with my friend Denise, and um, she lives here in St. Augustine, Florida as well, and she is also a health coach. And we met up at the market, and we got a whole plethora of fresh, you know, local fruits and vegetables here out of Florida. So I really encourage you guys to, um, you know, commit to your health. Hey, honey bun. Hey, I don't mind if you call me honey bun. What's up, Greg Bell? How are you? Good morning. I know Greg and Debbie are good friends. Um, oh, I love you too. I love you too. Um, so basically, uh, you know, if you commit to your health and you make a decision that, you know, maybe you're tired of feeling fatigue and maybe, um, you know, you just desire to have, you know, more energy, clarity, vitality. And if you're dealing with any kind of health challenges, I highly, highly invite you to start adding more fresh fruits and vegetables into your diet, honestly. And it's so easy to do. You can do juicing and smoothies and salads. You can steam vegetables. You can saute vegetables. Like it really can be delicious. Um, I have like met people before and they're just like, I don't like vegetables. And I'm like, whoa, because honestly, there's like nothing that I don't like. Hey, Manders. <laughs> What's up, Suzanne? How are you, sister? I know that was your nickname for me. So cute. I love you guys so much. Hey, Brittany Nicole. Thanks for joining, sister. So once again, when you join, do me a favor and comment below and say hi. Let me know that you're on, you know, say hi, say anything that you uh, desire that you would like to say. And maybe where you're tuning in from, rep your city, right? Let everybody else know where you're tuning in from. I know a lot of you guys are in Houston or you're in College Station, uh, Bryan College Station. So um, either way, but I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, so what I'm talking about today is make a choice to make a change, right? Because the, the cool thing and the, the super amazing thing about life is that we always have a choice. We have a choice in everything we do. We have a choice in the thoughts that we think, you know, the words that we speak, the actions that we take. Because without saying yes to something, then your life never changes. So think about all the times that you have ever said yes to something. And when you say yes to something, that allows you to move forward, that allows you to make a change, and that allows you to take your life in a different direction. So think about those times that you said yes. What if you would have said no? And then how could your life, you know, how could your life had possibly been different if you would have said no versus yes? So it, it really is easy and it really is simple. Um, hey, Keith Luggy, thanks for tuning in. Tuning in from Dallas. Awesome. So good to see you guys on here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm really enjoying, once again, doing these live Facebook videos and I'm committed to doing more of this simply so that I can motivate and encourage you guys, but also share the good news. Drop the truth bombs about health and wellness and let you know how fun and easy it really is to be healthy and to get healthier and to lead a healthy lifestyle. So what I was saying is that this morning we went to the market and I already came home and I made all of this juice. Like how super delicious is that? And I'm going to take a sip really quick because I desire to have some. This juice right here, it has beets, 
carrots, celery, limes, red bell pepper, uh, ginger, mint, cilantro, watercress, um, spinach, kale. Uh, choose to remember apples. Um, I, I put so much stuff in it now. I'm just trying to remember because I was cutting up everything and washing it. Um, oh, cucumber for sure. Cucumber is amazing. Um, so just so much stuff that I incorporated into this juice. I came home, washed everything up. I had some stuff here at my house already. Um, but I washed everything. You know, I, I put it out on the little, um, you know, paper towel or whatever and allowed it to uh, sit there for a second as I got everything together. And then I juiced it and it's phenomenal. So now I have this amazing juice, super, uh, delicious. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy my juice while I watch the Aggies beat the hell out of Mississippi State. And I'm trusting that most of you guys will be watching the Aggie game as well. The other thing I wanted to mention is that um, I have over 70 people starting my challenge on Monday. So if you didn't know already, I have a 21-day transformation challenge program. The information is actually above this video. The link is www.mandyfonville.com. Yeah, whoop, I see you, mama. Um, hey, what's up, Rick? Thanks for tuning in. Once again, guys, when you tune in, do me a favor and comment below. Sometimes I can tell with your little profile pictures if you give me the thumbs and the hearts and stuff. I can tell with your pictures, but but not all the time. And I don't know what everyone's uh, profile picture looks like. Hey, Danielle, how are you doing, sister? Thanks for tuning in this morning. Um, so I want to talk about my 21 day transformation challenge. I've had a lot of people message me and ask me questions. And I've also had clients that are currently on my program and they share with me like, Hey, my girlfriends are interested or, you know, my, my guy friends or my coworkers, they're interested in your program, but it's like, you know, they're scared or they think it's going to be too hard. Um, or they're asking me like what to expect, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm here to share with you about what you can expect. Hey, what's up? Jennifer Jackson is how I'm assuming it's probably not Jackson, Jennifer, but Jennifer San Antonio, Danielle. Hey sister. Love you guys. So much thank you so much for tuning in um happy saturday as well the uh, the weather here in uh florida is amazing i'm sure it is where you are because I know Texas and Florida, the weather is very similar. So anyhow, um, you know, I have people questioning like about my program. Is it hard? Blah, blah, blah. The reason that I'm recording this video right now is because once again, I have over 70 people that starting my 21 day transformation challenge this coming Monday. So if you're still interested, there's still time. You can actually lose between like five and 10 pounds before the holidays even get here. So most people actually gain weight during the holidays. It starts like in, uh, on Halloween, you know, and they're, they're eating all the candy or the leftover candy. And so, you know, it's, it's difficult for them to kind of, you know, okay, no more. And then like Thanksgiving's coming. So most people, you know, they're ready for that stuffing and the turkey and the dressing and the pie and whatnot. And then they're like, oh, well, you know, I'll wait until New Year's to, to worry about, you know, losing weight or working out. And then next thing you know, like Christmas is here and then they're eating all this stuff all over again. And then it's January and then your pants are too tight and your pants don't fit and your, your dresses are too tight and your stomach, you know, is bulging and you feel miserable, right? Like, let's be honest. And I've been there before too. Um, you know, I don't always walk around like super lean or whatever. And I've had those experiences where I saw the weight gain kind of like creeping on. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, H-Town in the house, repping that H, baby. I lived there for 12 years. Always will have love for Houston. Um, so anyhow, the point of me saying this is don't let it, don't be one of those people. Don't be one of those people that, you know, you, you're just like, oh, whatever. And you're not paying attention to anything that's going on right now. And you're eating and you're not exercising or moving your body or working out. And then January comes around and you're like really then trying hard to reverse the damage. So if you didn't know, one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. So 3,500 calories is so, so easy to consume. I mean, just have like a couple pieces of dessert or maybe some soda or throw some alcohol into the mix because alcohol actually slows down your metabolism. So like I said, it doesn't take much. And if you're not being conscious of, you know, the choices and stuff that you're making, and then next thing you know, you've put on weight and your clothes don't fit and they're too tight. Then you're going to be miserable and please don't. But most of the time, you know, we do that negative self-talk and we're beating ourselves up and, you know, we're mad at ourselves. Like, how could I have done that? And and why did I eat all that? And why did I stop my exercise routine, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm recording this video to let you know that over 70 plus people are starting my program this coming Monday. It's so easy, so simple, so fun. And if you're interested and you want to know more information about it, just go to the link above this video. It's www.mandyfonville.com. And it has all the information about the program as well as uh, before 
before and after pictures and testimonials from my clients. And if you know anyone that's done my program before, reach out to them and ask them their opinion. A lot of you guys know of Teresa Hernandez. Super sweet, awesome. Love you so much, sister. I believe you're probably still on here. If you guys are still on here, give me some thumbs ups and some hearts so that I know you're still, uh, you're still on here and that, um, that I should continue sharing the good news. Um, but Teresa has gotten phenomenal results with my program. A lot of people have seen her pictures, her before and after pictures and she is the perfect prime example of someone who made a choice to make a change. She she got on my program. She read all the information. And yeah, maybe she was like, wow. And she'll even tell you that when she read the allowed foods list that she realized it was like a lot of the stuff that she was already eating and the way that her family, um, you know, was living and the foods that she was purchasing and the, and the foods that they were eating and the stuff that they had there in their house was actually on the not allowed foods list. But she, my friend, and, I, and I'm so, so, so proud of you. I acknowledge your commitment for living a healthy lifestyle. Um, but she made the decision that she was going to stick to the program no matter what. She made the decision. She made the choice that she was going to, you know, do exactly what I recommended for her to do and look at her transformation. It is phenomenal. And if you go, um, you should be able to see on either one of my Facebook pages. But um, there is like a picture of her that was like from, I believe it was um, April 8th to like May 8th. It was literally like a, basically a, a one month of transformation. And, it, and the, the results don't lie. Like the pictures don't lie. Um, the transformation honestly is phenomenal. And now she's even leaner and she's built, you know, lean body mass. And because she's gotten leaner, you can see, um, you know, more of her musculature and like her biceps and whatnot. And she's super happy and, and uh, proud of her results. And I am as well. So uh, like I said, you know, she is a prime example of someone who, you know, they were living a certain type of lifestyle, but they made the choice to make the change because she desired to lean down and get healthier for her own benefit. And then also for her family and for her children. And, um, and that just spreads out to everyone else, you know, her coworkers, um, her mom and dad, just everybody. Because when you make the decision, to make a healthy change, you actually will motivate other people that might be on the fence, right? So I'm, I know this for a fact because I've been a trainer for 11 years and, you know, there's so many people that they struggle with their weight. Even if like someone's like, yeah, I want to lose like that five pounds or that extra 10 pounds. But anytime I ever meet someone, especially if they know I'm a personal trainer or a holistic health and fitness coach, they're like, man, you know, I need to lose weight or I need to start working out or this and this and this. And like, that's their um, their phrase. And it's kind of like, well, how long are you going to continue saying that? Are you going to keep on saying like, oh, I need to lose 10 pounds and I need to start working out? Or are you going to make the decision to go, you know what? Like I'm ready to start working out now and I'm ready to make the decision to, to make these healthy changes so that the whole thing is so that you will feel good, that you will feel good, you'll have more energy, but that you'll also feel good about yourself. Because let's face it, self-confidence is key. And when you're very confident in how you look and you feel amazing, you know, and you're out and about and you just, there is nothing that tastes better than looking good feels. And I can honestly attest to that because like I said, I haven't always been this lean. There's been times in my life where my weight has gone up and down. And I do remember the feeling of when I wasn't, you know, looking the way that I desired to look and and in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, you know, I require getting back on track. I require getting back on track with my workout routine, et cetera, that, you know, I was not the 100% full me. You know, it's kind of like a little part of you is just kind of like, eh, and you kind of hold back a little bit. You don't feel like your best. You don't feel super sexy and super confident. But when you're on track with everything, and even if you're not already there yet, yeah, amen, sister Teresa, I was just talking about you. I'm pretty sure you heard all that information. Um I know you tuned in at the very beginning, but maybe you took, you, you went off and came back on. I choose to know, but I hope you heard all of that information and I acknowledge your commitment to living a healthy lifestyle. And I'm super, super proud of you and very impressed, um, by your commitment. And I know that you have changed so many people's lives just by what you have done. And that's phenomenal. Um, but you know, basically what, what I want to remind you guys of is that life is short and why go around and be in a body that you're not feeling good about and that you don't feel confident about? Like why even waste another day doing that? And like I said, there's been times in my life when I've been in that situation and then I'm like, oh man. And then, you know, even if you're like, hey, LJ, thanks for tuning in. Once again, if you join guys, say hello below so that I know. I mean, like I said, if I recognize your profile picture, then I know who it is, but I don't always recognize the profile picture. Um, but say hello at the bottom. Tell us where you're tuning in from. And once again, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day. Um, hey, Johnny, how are you? Thanks for taking time out of your day to uh, to visit with me. Happy Saturday and gig them Aggies. I'm excited excited about this game. So 
I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick. Hey, Helios. I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick just because I know the game is about to start, I believe, here in like, what, less than 10 minutes? I can't see the time. Um, but, you know, the point of me making this video is to let you guys know it's never too late. And at least if you're making, this is the key right here, at least if you're making steps in the direction to get the results that you desire, then you're going to feel good about yourself. So, like, say today that you pass up eating, you know, like wings or fried chicken or pizza, etc. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to have a salad instead. Um, um, or instead of having a soda, you're like, you know what? I'm going to drink some water with lemon. But just making those small steps in your life like will make you feel good about yourself. And when you do that, it boosts your self-confidence. And you're like, you know what? This is fun and easy. And I can do this. And when you start doing that, then it helps you to continue to have those same types of positive thoughts and move your life in that positive direction. And I know I've talked about this before, but once you start incorporating more fruits and vegetables into your life, the taste buds on your tongue actually change. And so, so when those taste buds change and then you actually, you eat something, let's say um, like candy or a Snickers bar or you drink Coke and you're like, ooh, you know, or you eat a French fry and you actually taste like the oil and the, and the fried part of the French fry. And it doesn't taste as good. So when your taste buds start to change and then you try to put that junk back in your body, your body's like, uh, no, 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 no. And it tells you really quick, first of all, because you don't really like the way that it tastes, but you also will start expressing sort of, yes, most of the time, you will start experiencing like symptomatically, like, ooh, you know, um, I've had a lot of people on my program, they do the 21 day transformation challenge and they think they're going to go, you know, splurge on like some pizza or some burger and fries or whatnot. And then they end up messaging me. They're like, girl, they're like, I ate that and my stomach was hurting so bad and I got sick or maybe they were like on the toilet all day um, or they had a headache or they felt nauseous but literally they're just like I ate it and I feel horrible and I I mean I don't like laugh at them because I think it's funny but I'm like yeah I feel ya and like I always say now you know what I go through because you know when you live a really clean healthy lifestyle and then you do have something that isn't on your you know on the regimen let's just say um, or isn't healthy for you that's packaged processed food that's not really even food, right? It's fake food, so it's crap, but um, you you eat that or you drink that and then you don't feel very good. So it's actually a really good way to stay on track because once you make the commitment to start living your life this way, then it's actually harder for you to go back the other way and to have that stuff that is not treating your body right. So like I said, make a choice to make a change. It's up to you and thank goodness we have a choice in everything. We have a choice in, you know, the thoughts that we think, the words that we speak, the actions that we take, the food that we consume, the drinks that we consume, etc. So if you just made a choice and said, hey, I'm going to try the 21 day transformation challenge. What do I have to lose? Because you have nothing to lose. If you started my program and even if you only did one smoothie, because yes, it does include smoothies, but let's just say you join my program and you did like one smoothie and you're like, oh, this is too hard. I can't do this. Or, oh, it tastes gross. Or I don't like like it. Whatever your excuses are, and they would be excuses, um, but whatever your excuses are that you have of why you can't do something, even if you just did that, you would have benefited your body more by doing that than by not doing anything at all. And the reason that my program actually does work so well for people is because you already see me. You see my energy, and you see how it is. Like, if you're being coached and motivated by me, and you're having a hard time, then it's on you, my friend, because, you know, I'm the kind of person that I believe in everybody, and I know that everybody can do this because everybody can and this is how God actually designed for us to live these foods that I have you eating on the 21 day transformation challenge are the foods that's really actually food and that your body will recognize on a cellular level right so when you're eating these foods your life is going to change even what you start thinking starts changing even what you start seeing starts changing you just become like a different person because like I always say your vehicle I mean your body is your vehicle right it's your vehicle it's your your tool it's your apparatus to move you through life so if you're putting water in the gas tank of your car your car is not going to run very efficiently and so if you're putting toxic Toxic junk, fake food, processed food crap in your body and you feel like shit, that is why. And yes, I just said shit. And someone do the little shit emoji because I love that emoji. <laughs> oh, Lord. And they would be excuses. You crack me up. It would be excuses, right? Are you looking for excuses or are you looking for solutions? Are you that kind of person that's like you always have an excuse about something? Are you the kind of person that's like, you know what? These are the results I'm looking to get and I'm going to take action. Whether that has to do with your lifestyle with health and fitness or even in your 
your job or, you know, your personal life, but whatever it is, because when we make the decision to do something, we consciously make the decision, then, you know, we obviously know what kind of results we're trying to achieve. And if there's something going on and you're, you know, not doing whatever it is, then it's just an excuse. Um, there you go. I love that poop emoji. Let's see who else said adrenal glands. I'm not sure what you're referring to about the adrenal glands, but yeah, the adrenal glands are super important. Obviously, they sit right on top of the kidneys. You know, that's where we get our energy and whatnot. They also are um, responsible for hormone production. So if you have adrenal fatigue, which is very common nowadays because most people are cracked out, jacked up on like coffee or monsters or Red Bulls or energy drinks, like whatever they require. Me right now, I'm not on anything at all but this fresh juice that I just made a little while ago in water. That's all I've had today so far. I wake up first thing in the morning. I usually drink at least a liter of water before I have anything else. And then I usually follow it up with either juice or a smoothie. Today, it's going to be juice. And then probably like in an hour, hour and a half maybe when my body feels hungry and it feels necessary for me to eat again. Again, I'll probably have a big old smoothie or maybe I'll have a salad. You know, I choose to know exactly what I'm going to do. But the main thing is, is I feed my body real whole food. I feed my body fresh fruits and vegetables. And that's why I have all of this energy. That's why I have beautiful, clear skin. That's why I have super white, bright eyes. That's why I'm always like, ah! and everybody that hangs around me, you know, my energy is contagious. And uh, I'm just a bright, shiny light. So I'm going to take another drink of my juice. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks, Carrie. I just saw your little profile picture. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mm. This juice right here is incredible. Mm. I love fresh juice. So, you know, I can just go off for days, but yeah, so true. My trainer, Mandy, online and health and fitness program. Thank you so much, Teresa. Oh, what is the program? Yeah, Samantha. So, if you go up top... Above this uh, video, I put my website. It's www.mandyfonville.com. This is motivating me. Even though I can't run, I need to go to the gym. Thank you so much for your program. It's life-changing. Loving it from Austin just uh, for a membership to Fitness Connection. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Fitness Connection. That's awesome. Yeah, good job, sister. Um, yeah, what's up, mama? I'm not sure what you said. Oh, now what what that means? But um, yeah, I was trying to talk without getting distracted, so I didn't read all y'all's um, all of y'all's comments. But uh, oh, hey, what's up, Nancy? Hey, Lindsay, how are you guys doing? I'm sending all you guys much love. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so yeah, Danielle, like you're motivated now. Like I obviously love motivating people, as you know. I used to train you in person, so you know how it goes. Um, yeah, the game is on. Oh, it's on now. Yeah, I'm getting ready to get off here too. I was still trying to figure out. Mama, what channel is it for a Dish Network? I forgot which channel it was. And I was getting ready to Google it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video real quick before it comes on. So either way, I'll figure it out in a second. But, um... Yeah, make a choice to make a change for your health today because life is too short. So especially if you have health challenges, I highly encourage you. I have over 70 plus people starting my program on Monday. You can lose between five and 10 pounds, probably even before Thanksgiving. Um, but either way, uh, you know, you're going to feel amazing and this will catapult you sort of like to the next level. So if just imagine you start on Monday, you start getting results, you're feeling good fresh, fly, sexy, you're motivated, you're proud of yourself, and then, uh, you know, here comes Thanksgiving, and you're faced with all this food, chances are you're not going to go hog out, and you're not going to go eat a bunch of dessert, and you're not going to have a whole bunch of stuffing, like, you're going to eat proper, a, a proper proportion meal, and you're going to know, like, what are the things that are going to fuel your body, because you'll be able to make those choices after you learn everything on my program. And so say, yeah, you go have your Thanksgiving meal, but then you hop right back on. Because if you start the program on Monday, I choose to know, but I think it would be like several days after Thanksgiving that it actually ends. But then I also have phase two of my program and phase three and phase four and phase five and phase six. So, and I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching for people that have more specific health challenges and require more one-on-one -on -one support so that I can know exactly what it is that you are dealing with. And I can know, you know, all about your health history, if you're on medications, supplements, et cetera. And then I can coach you through how you're going to cleanse and detox your body and even potentially get off of your medication, which most likely you will. Um, but I am not a doctor, so I never say anything on here that, that um, you know, is FDA approved. <laughs> I have to say that. I, I choose to say that just because, right, to save myself in terms of liability. But either way, What's up? Hey, Crystal Lynn. Thanks for tuning in, sister. Hey, friend. Happy Saturday. Love your frosty lips. Hey, I appreciate you. This is Burt's Bees. Um, you know, Burt's Bees is, a, is an amazing company. And this is um, the guava tone or color guava they also have a champagne but it's like a little bit more white but yeah this is guava so i appreciate that compliment um 
Yeah, Ashley, I appreciate you. I know it's on SEC, but I don't know what channel. Like, I have Dish Network here at St. Augustine, Florida. And I've watched the games before, so I know I'll be able to watch it. I just choose to know the exact channel, like what number it is. I think I looked a second ago. Maybe I'm not sure. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll find it in a second. I'm more passionate about sharing this good news. So if you have any, um, you know, uh, questions about my program, feel free to send me a private Facebook message. And if my program resonates with you or if there's something about this video that sounds that, that makes you, like, say, like hmm, maybe I should check it out or maybe I should give it a try reach out to me let's have a chat about it seriously like don't be one of those people that's just you know standing in the background you know and you're thinking like oh yeah well maybe next time or maybe one day or maybe in January like maybe 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 never comes maybe never comes all we have is right now so make a choice to make a change for your health move in the right direction if you desire support and, you know, you require someone to give you information so that you know exactly what to do, and if you want to be in a closed Facebook group with all kinds of other amazing individuals that are on, you know, the same path as you are. Hey, sister, thanks for tuning in. Um, I think that was you, Veronica. That's on the same path as you are, then join my program, and that way you can be in the closed group. You can get more of these live Facebook videos. You can, um, you know, collaborate with everyone else in the group and have the uh, accountability and the motivation and the support because everyone is going in the same direction. So, um, you know, feel my love and appreciation for all of you guys. I know the Aggie game is on, and I'm required to watch it as well. So, woo, gigab Ags, beat the hell out of Mississippi State. And uh, if you would like to contact me, send me a private Facebook message. And I trust all of you guys will have an amazing day. Happy Saturday. The weather is beautiful. I went walking this morning. Yes, ma'am. Good job, Nancy. Yes, ma'am. That does count. That's fantastic, sister. I talked about that yesterday on my video about walking and that we should all try to walk at least 45 minutes a day. And if for some reason you can't, do all the 45 minutes at once you can break that up into like 15 minute intervals like 15 minutes and then you know maybe a couple hours later you go do it again whatever but do something right that's the key do something move in the right direction if you don't join my program, that's okay too. I still love you, right? But do something today. Have some fresh pressed juice. Have a smoothie. Have a salad. Do your exercise. Get out in the sunshine. <clears throat> there you go, Lindsay. Beat the hell out of Mississippi State. Woo! All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Feel my love and appreciation for you. Have an amazing day. Chat soon.